100% off the strength, man. Off the strength. You can't get that off the strength. What's good, everybody? What's good? Welcome back to yet another episode of Off the Strength, where we're giving you the inside look into all things wellness culture. I'm a trainer called Tony, and of course, with me, I have a gentleman of extraordinary league. K.R. Jones is in the building. That's right, folks. We are back. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners of all type from near and far, you are now in store for a treat because, Brother Jones. What's the word? We got somebody inside the studio with us today that I'm, I want to tell you that I've been seeing in parallel in way too many spaces. Well, we'll speak on it. I'm talking about we got the Latinx community standing. Okay. I seen some of my big homies shouting this brother out. I was like, wait, hold on. We got the the, the Puerto Rock Warriors, the Boricuas out here. I seen my Jamaican Boricua, homies baby. out here. Yeah, I seen some homies out here. All the way up top, I seen the BX native. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. way up there, but this man has been shaking the block in damn near every borough that's outside, bro. Understood. I'm talking about we got to get a drummer some, bro. Uh, no, really. Really get a drummer some. We got Anthony Anderson in the house. Let's make some noise. One Thank time, you. bro. Hey. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> What's you. going down, man? Uh, man, I'm just grateful to be here. Hell Thank you. Yeah. It's been, uh, I don't even know what to say. This is... Thank you. I see a lust for life that comes through inside of everything that you do. Wow. And I was like, yo, this guy is celebrating life yeah. beyond everything else. So I got to understand what he's about is, again, inside of New York, really making stuff move around and going international all around. I was like, yeah, I can't wait. Man, it just, the, the journey started really when I was nine. Uh, born and raised in the Bronx, stomping grounds, of course. My, my mother and father, they're both not with me right now. But uh, they they paved the way for me, really. Mm -hmm. My dad gave me the opportunity and just really showed me visually how to have the passion for drumming. Yeah. Just seeing him in, in the living room rocking out to his records, vinyls, in the living room just jamming. So that's that's really where my family comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, old school, R&B, hip hop. All of that. And if it wasn't for it, if it wasn't for just really just seeing him interacting, just loving the music he saw me tapping on surfaces pillows pots and pans and was like yo you're gonna be a drummer one day man and the rest is history uh, he got me my first drum kit from then and to be honest with you it was like when i was nine that was my short time period that i had with him because mm -hmm. that was like the full year of him teaching me how to play drums that was my last experience with him he was a he had to, he passed away from liver cancer he was an alcoholic it comes within, you know, the nature at the time. So I've I've learned to learn to deal with it, but also cherish it in so many different ways within who I am today. And if it wasn't for that, that last moment that he had was really just showing me how to play. And from there, I just didn't I couldn't stop. From school to everything that I do today, all I want to do is just eat, sleep, and drum. Mm. That's it. Man, and Tony, I gotta be honest with you, brother. Like that passion, again, like I said, it it screams out of the phone. It screams wow. out of the videos that I'm watching. It comes across there. And there's a pride and there's a sense of, you know, you you everything that I saw was telling me that you're doing this for a bigger reason. And yeah. I didn't really understand what that was, but I really do appreciate you, you know, lending a lens into that whole life and that that atmosphere. And I do want to get into that a lot more and understand it. But again, brother Jones, how you feeling just hearing that first wave coming through here? Everything that you said, I, I couldn't agree more. And, you know, doing my my research and and really diving into the the articles that I read about you, the stuff that stuck out to me was the line that said, I I'm playing loud enough so that he can hear me, mm. yeah. you know? And and I think that's the the real key to it. Uh, knowing that, you know, sometimes we lose people in the physical. That, that spiritual aspect is always going to be there. Yeah. And, the, and if I can tap into that spirit and, and it can come out through me and I can play this thing that I love, like that's when you are really uh, aligned with what you're supposed to be doing. Now, you know, Brother Tone, we, we start this a little a little differently. We, we, we got a little sped up. But the question that we do ask, where were you when you fell in love with this thing we call wellness? I see that the drumming is something that is a little more than 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 just a passion. It's a way of life for you. It's almost like the the beat, if you will, uh, the yeah. heartbeat. Right. Right. So where were you when when you realized there was no other way? Like this is it for sure. The last departure with the last musicians I was playing with, mm -hmm. where I just feel like you know what, this is just this is gonna be serious. This is what is gonna be it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't give up. I won't give up. As no matter what I go through or anything that's going to come my way to try to deteriorate anything that I'm trying to do, I'm going to have to just keep going. 
Now, uh, again, I told you I was reading the articles. You you are one of 19. Yeah. Right. So where does that idea of not giving up come from? Like who instilled that in you? My dad, my aunt and uh, another family member that was living with us at the time. But they, they took care of me. They made sure I was on the right path. One out of 19. Majority of my brothers and sisters, well, my brother is mainly in jail. My sisters are doing their own thing. They're living their own lives. Mm -hmm. But I'm the only one that is just not only just a musician into music. I stand out. All these things. So certain family members really decided to just take upon themselves to just make sure I was in the right path. The drumming just really just like I, I can't get I can't give it up. Mm -hmm. I can't stop it. Oh, yeah, man. And you, you brought up something about standing out a little bit. Yeah. Now, I'm I just turned 35 last week. Right. Okay. So I'm saying that you, I can see that you're a little bit younger. I'm trying to think about the time frame and think about where you're growing up and coming from New York City. I think I understand a little bit of that context, brother, when standing out wasn't this cool thing that it is today. Absolutely. It is a little bit tricky coming up when yep. you when you might have had a little bit of a different beat that you wanted to move by. Right. Talk. Take me through a little bit of what that was like, what your early influences were like just on the stuff that you liked and things that kind of like resonated with you most. Rock music. I was hip hop was born and raised. That's that's in my family. South Bronx. I'd imagine. All day. Yeah. All day. But rock really helped me just the just the style of it, the technique and just the music. Let's get into the bag, bro. Let's talk about it. Uh, Really just like the drumming. Uh huh. My first drummer that I was really inspired inspired by was Chad Smith by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can't stop this feeling when it's in you. Exactly. Yeah. What? And and, and then the the rest the rest is history. And Travis Barker's my greatest idol. You better be you better pay attention to Blink 182 out here. <laughs> you understand what he's talking about? Cause I too. <laughs> I me. hear you. I hear you. I was I, I was somebody who didn't fit in either. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, trust me, and and it's you 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 don't fit in. You got to stand out. You got to kind of have to be like a rebel in a way. Hell yeah! But it, rock really just gave me that that confidence. Oh, and just you know what, I'm gonna wear these pants today. Hell yeah! I'm, I'm, I don't care what anybody thinks about this. I'm gonna wear it because it's cool. Man, I think it's cool, so I'm just gonna do it. It you gives know? you that voice when you know that the whole angst side of things. Yeah, when you just kind of like all right. Here's where everybody got a nice little neat bucket that you can fill and talk about these feelings and emotions. But here's these other emotions that I don't really have a good box to put in in a container right. to say, here's where we're going to put this. Yeah, this is a, actually a positive way for me to get out these emotions and put this energy into this space rather than hit outside and do something crazy, Absolutely. rather than get into a reckless situation. You know, you need to feel something. You need to sell that emotion. You need to move that into a different direction, man. So I'm talking yeah. man, Red Hot Chili Peppers is in a different atmosphere for me. That's one of the bands that I have not seen mm -hmm. that's on my list of places and people that I gotta see before I check out of this world. Same. That's, Same. yo, we going to the concert, yes. bro. Just Look at that. Know, see? Yo, like we can end the interview right here. Uh, <laughs> it's been a fantastic episode. <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. That's all I need.